Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React.js course. Now in this video, we will try to see about the higher order components. What is this higher order components? So higher order components is nothing but what I can say is these are purely a functions that takes a component and returns a new component. So this is the blindly we can say it is a higher order function component is nothing but a function that takes a component and returns a new component. Normally when we will be using this higher order components is if you want to enhance the data in the new comp in the component if you want to enhance the data or in if you want to enhance, enhance the state in the component so to return a new component we will be using this hoc so now normally what what the hoc is, is prefixed is hocs are mostly prefixed with the with or get so if you have if you see any component with with or get as a prefix means then you can imagine that it is a high H, higher order components okay so normally this is not a react uh, js or anything so it is a pattern of using the function uh, so if you are having functional components this is a normal process okay so now higher order components when it will be very useful so as i already told you right so normally the components transforms the props into ui so the components takes the props and it will give you the ui but higher order components are a little bit different these will take the this will take the component as the input and it will return you a new component okay so where this higher order components will be more useful so uh, how you can use this higher order components so now we will try to see a basic example so let's assume that here i am having one new file category.js okay so this is a component let's assume so i am having something like class category extends component okay export default category and here you will be having the component okay so here you will be having render so now render in this render what i will try to do so just basic we will try to do so div uh, categories component or something like this i am mentioning so now i want to i want to add this in this one so what i can do is so here i will go to the app.js what i can say here in the app.js what i can do here i can add one div category okay and also i can mention in another div so i can take this posting and i can mention it here so let's import this category okay done so if i try to see the output here so what could be the output oh some error okay in the navigation so this is because of the previous uh, error boundaries things when we are discussing i think i made so here i am able to see the categories component so now this is normally a component so now i want to convert this category component into the hoc component so now what i will try to i will create a new file that is with category dot js so as i already told you right so uh, hoc are normally a functions okay so with category so this is normally a function and what it will take it will try to take the component so what i can do wrapped component whatever the component you want you can mention the name so now it will return a component so return class extends component okay so here what i will try to do return sorry render render and here i will return so i will return one div and in, inside this div i will use this wrapped component directly okay so i am returning this component so extra i am wrapping one div so now what i will try to do so he, this one is already exported so it is giving another component so it is it is taking one component as the input and it is giving you another component so a component as a class component we are giving so now in the category.js what i will try to do here with category with category okay so with category i am giving this component as the input okay normally what we what we will trying to do in app.js we are we are calling this category category component it will go to this category component and when we are exporting so first this uh, function will execute so going through this function this component will execute so going through this function means with category will execute first and inside this one so the wrapped component nothing but the component you will be getting so here it will be replaced with the category so let's try to see the output whether it will change or not if i try to refresh this one so nothing is changed so again i am able to see the category component okay i am able to see the category component so then what is the use of this wrapping thing so for example here i am having something like uh, for example categories 
so i want to do i want to show some title or anything okay if you want to do some title or anything in the with category data what i can do is i can write some do category title i can write something like this so now if you try to see the category is nowhere concerned with the title only the hoc is injecting the ui so if you try to see the output here if i try to refresh it so you will be able to see the category title at the top so this one is coming through the hoc and this one is coming from the comp category component now what i can do is so here in the categories okay here in the categories here in the with category or otherwise what i can say is so this title uh, what i can do is so for example if i am passing props here name is equal to category or something like this i am passing so now i want to use this name here name so what i can do here this dot props dot name okay so if i try to see here here i am not getting the name here why because so this name the category component okay the the category from the app.js the category component is going to the name category as we are sending the props but it is going into the with category and here this is the category where it is uh, where it is rendering actually but here we are not sending props so that is the reason we are not able to display so what we can do here so this dot props so we need to forward the props so what are the props coming for this category we need to forward the props so now if i try to refresh so now you will be able to see the data category see additional to this prop props also we can send our custom props also for example here i am having a constructor okay let's assume so now we need to we need, will be getting the props here so let's uh, super of props so let's do this one all sorry let's do this one all super of props i am i am i am creating a state here okay so uh, name coming okay name from hoc or something like this i am creating one variable so now now i will try to pass this state here so what i can do here directly i can do sorry dot state is equal to okay i can use something like title so like this i can use now i can pass this dot state here okay so i am passing this dot state now if you try to see the output here without any problem we are say we are we are able to display now we are sending the state from the hoc so that means the category whatever here we are sending from the app.js category is nowhere concerned with the whatever the logic we are doing so here we are sending the name but here in the with category we are sending the state also as a props to this one so that means in the, the title we can use it directly here so now if i have something like div okay inside this div so if i try to do some div here so now whatever the data i am sending here this dot props dot title i can use it directly here so if you try to see the output here so if i try to see the output here see name from hoc we are getting the output so how we are getting the output here so we are getting the output directly from the with category higher order component so higher order component i created a state title i am sending as the props to the wrapped component so this is how higher order components will be very useful so for example i want to display some categories so here i am having something like uh, let's assume i am having a categories okay so categories is equal to something like category 1 okay so category 2 so category to something like this so now i can pass this state right so now here what i can do the app.js in the category.js so here i can directly use this one something like here now this dot props sorry this dot props dot categories categories dot map of category i can use this one like this and i can return category so i can use like this also so now the state is defined in the higher order component so that that the data is coming from the categories now if you try to see the output here i am able to see the category one and category two okay so this is how the higher order components will be will be useful okay hope you understood about this higher order components and also we can do another thing also so normally what what the people will be doing is when where we will be using for example here 
so they will be sending so here i am having the categories right so i am setting the categories i want to say i want to show only two categories i want to show only the two categories like this also you will be able to see this type of uh, representation also so now for example i am having in the with category another category i am trying to have okay so i am trying to have sorry what i can do here category 3 and here i can use category 4 something like this i am trying to have okay so without using this type of notation what it will try to read, uh, display so if you try to see here so it is displaying all the categories now if i want to use this something like 2 so i want this 2 means i want to show only the two categories only so i am sending the limit actually i am sending the limit so how can this one will work is so here with the category of 2 means this is a function and the return type of this is a uh, is a function and we are passing category as an input to this one so that means how we can transform this one is so here i can write export function with category okay it's the same name so we can have it like this and here i am getting the limit okay so now again i need to pass a function so that it should be an anonymous function return function so you will be able you will be seeing this type of behavior in the normal javascripts so return function we are passing the wrapped wrapped content and here we are having the categories before here what we can do is uh, let or otherwise constant categories is equal to what i can do here so constant categories is equal to this dot what we are having this dot state dot categories categories dot slice we can do the slice and zero comma i can pass the limit here so now if i pass the limit so now these categories i will send it as a prop so now here what i can do categories is equal to categories so i will be sending this to the wrapper con so what is happening categories of categories okay so now if i try to see so now here what i am trying to see i am trying to send two only two so now what it what will happen here unexpected to with categories so i crash or something what happened here so here la uh, yeah everything is correct so fine category title one oh sorry with pro uh, categories is equal to okay fine so let's see output here tax error return here okay to wrap another one okay so done so we are having another function at the top right that is the reason so now let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output i am able to see category 1 2 3 4 again right so i am sending categories this one's uh, zero comma limit here i am having the cat with the category of 2 okay so now let me try to see the output now if i try to see the output what could be the output here see i am able to see only the two categories so if i change the limit here so for example if i change the limit to 3 now see here i am able to see the three categories so i am able to define the limit also so now how many categories so the higher order function the higher order component what it is doing is it is taking the responsibility of limiting the categories how many categories to send to send to this component it is limiting so that means this category no way is responsible for what we can say to uh, write the functionality of this one so this is the higher order component so the higher order component what it will do is it will take this component it will enhance the component it will do some logic and all those things you want to perform the logic and all those things you can perform in the hoc and this component will be remain as a pure function something like this okay so these are the higher order function higher order components hope you understood about this higher order component so coming on we will be using this higher order components more and more so just i want to explain you the scenarios i will i have explained you so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you